So, there we go. There How we do go. you like them potatoes? <laughs> potatoes. How do you like them? Uh, so, welcome to Anthony TV. My name is Pete. My name is Joss. And that was a mighty jam. As you can see in the background here, we have now, this whole thing has changed. 
What? It was like jam, boom, 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 bosh. And then we turned around because what we're looking at today is the Richie Cotson signature victory amp. So what you heard in the beginning was me running into the RK50 with the cab downstairs. Downstairs. <laughs> down here. <laughs> it's been a long day so far. It's taken a little while. And... Um, and Joss, you're playing the uh, the the one by twelve combo with the open back. Yeah. yeah. So I was playing the 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 one twelve combo with the open back. Yes. So what we have going on here actually is um we've got the head up here just so that we can show you the front panel, what the front panel of these amps looks yeah. like because it's a top mounted sort of panel. Um. So right now we've got the uh, the fifty watt combo running into. So we've got the fifty watt open back combo running into the closed back cabinet down which here, which is downstairs. Which is downstairs. And this this is, so this is how Richie runs his. He'll run, he'll run two combos yes. and two cabs yes. to each other. So he effectively has got like 412 yeah, running out, right? Exactly. But the, the reason why we got that, as you said, is because mm. of this thing. And it's exactly the same. Uh, this has got a spring reverb and this has got a digital reverb in yes. it. Yes. Yeah. So you might see some photos on Victory's website and there's a little thing sitting on top of that. And I think it's just, it's just a little kind of spare yeah, kind of thing. Exactly, you know, exactly. So it's easy to take around instead of having that. But you can run it as I did through the one twelve. Yes. So tubes in this. So the tubes in this combo are EL thirty fours and uh, twelve AX sevens. Yes. Yes. Where it's just one of them is running the uh, reverb. Yeah. And the tremolo. So this one is also it's exactly the same. The amps are exactly the same. Yes, they're exactly right. the same. Apart from as you said, spring reverb, digital reverb, spring reverb, digital reverb. Tremolo, tremolo. Tremolo, tremolo. Richie Cotton signature. If you don't know Richie Cotton, you must check him out. He's a ma magnificent guitar player. He really is. Yeah, he's just been to the UK to tour. He was in... The Winery Dogs? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> As in the place? Yeah, no, oh, no, sure no, no. Why. He played at uh, Hammersmith Apollo or something. Oh, okay. Something. Yeah, just an in and out kind of day. But I mean, if you... Yeah, he also plays with Winery Dogs. Yes. Which is thing. Anyway, I think instead of wabbling on, we need to hear what this sounds like. And you've got a special guitar right there, isn't it? I got a special guitar. So this is the Richie Costin Signature Telecaster. Yeah. What a beauty, sir. What a beauty. <laughs> So, um, I mean, step right up, step right up. <laughs> Get your maple. So, um, yeah, huge neck on this. We've got some Damasios, we've got a chopper T, um, and then we've got a, um, yeah, chopper T in the bridge. And then I can't remember what the telly pickup is actually, but it's just like a traditional, it's a yeah. Damasio, but it's like a traditional telly. Yeah. Um, you've got one volume, three way selector switch, and then you have like, um, it's not a tone knob. But it's like a series parallel sort of thing going oh, okay. on. Okay. Yeah. So it's set to a certain tone. Yeah, exactly. Chunky neck Huge there. chunky neck, yeah. big old frets on it, and it's just yeah, it's just awesome. Awesome. So this is the neck pickup going directly into this, into the front end. Which is set. Let me just go and uh, stand up and have a look Let's and have see a look. how it's set. So what we've done here now is that there's a tone control. So if you look at the front panel of this, there's just a tone control. That's it. So vo gain, tone, reverb. Master, tremolo speed, and depth. The gain is set to like one, and the master is set to about nine o'clock. Okay. And then tremolo's off at the moment, reverb is on also at nine o'clock. Tone is at 12. Neck pickup. <laughs> I mean, these amps are loud. They're 50 watts, really, right? So there's, I mean, a it's, there's a lot in it. There's, there's a lot some in it. shaking in this room. Yeah. yeah. So let me just try to, to turn the uh, the gain, uh, the master up, and okay. then just go gains to see if we can get a clean tone from okay. it. Okay. Right? Cool. Here we go. Oh, sorry, it gets there though, it starts oh. breaking up. Yeah, it breaks up. So that was the gain at nine o'clock and the master sort of just uh, sort of put the master, well, the master was almost full, but uh, it's too loud. It's so of, loud. It's much, yeah, it's very loud. So let's just do 12 again at 12. And then I'm just gonna back the tone all the way off. So you can't see what I'm doing now, but I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Yes, all of right? course. So let's see what so, that sounds like. <laughs> so here we go, tone all the way off. And I'll roll it in as we go along.
Dude, that sounds good, doesn't it? It sounds so good. So it's got, it's got high and a low mode, and I think this, the low is about 7 or 8 watts, right? Yes, it's around And then it's there, 50 yeah. watts in the high mode. Full so power. let's just click it down to low. Here we go. You know what? I had everything on full there in the end. Everything oh, yeah? was on. Yeah, yeah, everything. So gain all the way up, and so gain all the way up, master all the way up. You will get some. You know, when a, when an amp of is course. when an amp is cooking. Yes. So are you ready? Yeah, there I'm we ready. Go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> then back on the high and let's just go try play a little bit again okay okay so you didn't have the reverb on so we got to switch over here Pete's damaged himself so he's very supple I'm, I'm not very, very uh, supple I'm right fragile now. I've fallen, fallen over again uh, okay, so it's got two switches with it. It's got this, which is here, oh, and, you have and the other then one, right? it's got uh, anyway. So it's got yeah. a, it's got this, which is a which is a tremolo and a reverb. And then it's got the the uh, a boost yes. function. Now the boost function, works if you can see me bit, up here, it works a little bit differently. Than it works a bit differently. Boost, yeah. So, but let's just start with the reverb. So let's have a listen to what the reverb sounds like. So this is without reverb. Here's the reverb. Here comes the tremolo. Nice. That is very nice, that isn't is it? I'll put nice. that here so we keep the reverb on for uh So just, just let's talk about this um let me just sit down again. Let's talk yeah, about this boost seat. for a minute. Okay, so, so hand me that cable there, yeah, please. Yeah, here we go. And then, so I've got a humbug on here as well. So Humbugger. Let's just, humbugger. So, uh, which of course he doesn't use. He uses strats and tellies because you've got in a sickness of strats. This is almost a essentially a humbucker, yeah. just not as high output. No, so we'll try this one here. Yes. So, so just to give you a bit of background on the whole story with Richie Cotton yeah. and, and, and Victory. Richie Cotton used to have a comfort amp. Yes. Which was a 100 watt comfort amp. And Martin Kitt, who used to design the comfort amps, uh, of course, they're good friends and he's done that for ages. And, yeah. And he wanted, to, you know, you said something about you watch a, some, a video on, on yeah, it's just crazy. YouTube, probably. Yeah, it's just crazy how you watch him talking about it around about sort of 2005, where he's talking about how he wanted a super simple amp with like one tone on it. Yeah. Boom. And here it is. So they so they developed this thing here yeah. right, for his. Uh, you know, th this is this is all voiced for him. This is all yes. how he wants this. You know, uh, you might think it's great. You might not like Cygnus' stuff. You yeah. Know, sometimes Cygnus' stuff is a. It's made for the artist. So the yes. artist would have gone. I like like when this happens. I like yeah. when you do this, and I like the tremolo to do this. I like the reverb to be like this. Yeah. And it might not be to your taste. It's I all mean, different. I because I I like this guitar and I like this guitar going into that amp. So you know. Yeah. So you definitely have to control. But anyway, so we were explaining about the boost. Yes. So Lee said, "Bless you." So Lee said. So Lee called Martin, and yeah. uh, Martin explained to Lee because we weren't too sure about how the boost actually was working. Yeah, how much dB and exactly, all, and all that sort of stuff. So what essentially it is is almost the way that Lee explained it to me was that it's the same sort of premise as putting a pedal in the front end, but a completely different but sort much of sound, more. much more. more. So what they do is say, just for instance, you've got two preamp valves. Mm -hmm. Say this is your first preamp valve, and this is your second, and the signal's going in that way. What it essentially does is it boosts the first preamp valve. 
Yeah, much more. Yeah. Yeah. So then all of a sudden you get um you get what you would get out of a out of a drive pedal, but it's like a much cleaner, much more powerful signal because it's coming directly from the yeah. valve itself. Yeah. So that's how the boost function works. So, yes. And so it's, this it's, is what it. I mean. I mean when we were using it in the jam yeah. and then you click the boost ah! in, it's giga you, you laugh because it's so cool. Right, so this is what it sounds like with the Stratocaster, which he also plays. On the humbugger on the back pickup. Let me just stick everything on 12 o'clock here. Excuse my pants are a bit low. Excuse my pants are a bit low. So I'll just turn the uh, everything up a little bit. So this is what it sounds like the humbugger. So now the boost does this. I mean that is and that just was with wicked sound. I mean that was with the boost on and look how That's much it cool cleaned stuff. up. It cleans up when I rolled back on the volume. Now he's very res when he plays, he plays with his fingers in case you does. you haven't you you haven't seen him. Go and check him out Even because he's a wonderful guitar player. Uh, voice is like an angel. An angel. So you got so he plays a lot with his fingers, so he'll That is a great album, yeah. isn't it? I mean that it and that was amazing. There was a lot there was a boost function on that for some of that as well, and it's still, as we said, it's still just clean. I had up. the boost on for every for yeah. all of it. Yeah. And everything is kind of twelve, the tone is on twelve, the yeah. reverb is, is there. I mean it just sounds great. It sounds awesome. It sounds wicked. Just have a have a go on that. Have a go on this with the with the telecaster. Have a go on that with the telecaster where you just get the boost and then use the volume control. <laughs> Good. That's that sounds so good. So good. But that that's the, the, that was the boost function on all the time. Okay. So there's some more fun functions. Functions. There's more functions on the back. Like you've got your you've got your uh, loop. Yep. Which you know, I've got. Effects um, loop. There's a carbon copy in the in the effects loop here. Yeah. Which we heard my, in the jam. You're in the jam, which you can hear the end jam as well. I mean, it's got the. Um, if I can just turn this around really quick. Um, so at the back back here, you can put six L sixes in it. It's worth mentioning that. Uh, it's worth mentioning that you can put, uh, you can have either the EL34s uh, or 6 6s but it needs to be rebiased, of course. Uh, it's got tremolo and reverb, so the tremolo and reverb is a double switch. It's got a foot switchable boost, you can have on or off. Uh, it's got this speaker dampening thing where, you know, I'm not quite sure, but it, yeah. it sounds like it just dampens everything yeah, just down. Yeah, as, so as the name like states, a, really. Yeah. It's down to speak, and then uh, and these yeah. two are exactly the same. Yeah, exactly. So the awesome, so the awesome thing about the amplifier, obviously, is that it can go from 0 to 100 really slowly, really dynamically, mm. or you can go 0 to 100 straight out for the Richie Cots and ballsy shreds. Come stuff. on, let's have, let's have it. Come on, let's have it. <laughs> <laughs> so it does all of it. It can go. It can. It just covers everything, man. And and on that note, on that this note. is uh, nine hundred ninety nine pounds UK. Yep. I can't so, lift it up. No, that's fine. That. So uh, I'm going to turn it for you. Uh, thank you very much, darling. So that is um, one thousand pounds. Uh, thousand thousand pounds shy of one pound. Uh, Sixteen forty nine. Yep. And four fifty nine for the one by twelve cap. Amazing. So with uh, loaded with a cream back sixty five. G12. G12 medium. medium. So the 65 watts, and so is the uh, cabinets. Yes. Cabinet Sauvignon. Cabinet Blanc. Cabin, cabinet, cabinet Blanc. <laughs>
Anyway, I think what we should do is we should just set everything back up uh, and then have a jam out and then uh, yeah, and then call it. it a day. Links below. Come and check them out. Come and check them out in the shop. Absolutely, you need to come and plug in today. But just beware, you have to play it loud. It's a proper live amp, this, isn't it? Yes, it really is. I mean, it's, it's a, a gig of it's a it's gig, a gig and amp. This set here will absolutely, you know, your front Whoa. of house guy will go, Oh, this way too loud. Where's your Kemper? I was like, this, this, where we going? We don't need Kempers. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just go for it like that. Anyway, I was Pete. My name's Joss. This was the Richie Cotton signature Richter V, Richter v Amplifications. See you next time. See you later, guys. Bye. One, two, three, four. <laughs>